chapter 7, verse 7. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Our opening hymn is on page 133, The Power to Heal Three Times. descends upon us. Amen. Amen. Dolores Gambardella, 
Dennis Ward, Eddie Hall, Dion Novello, Regina Epler, Haley Espinosa, Eric Buda. Philip Spaldi. Healing for those with the virus and healing for our planet. Divine Spirit, our God, our Creator, we thank you for our healings. For those of us you have called to cross over. We pray they were pain free and welcome their journey. We ask you, our God, to forgive them their mistakes and to bless them through their progression. We thank thee. Amen. Amen. Our responsorial is your black book, number 32, Healing. perfect appearances may be, or painful, or discordant, there is still an underlying perfection, an inner wholeness, a complete and perfect life, which is God. Treatment is not willing things to happen. It is to provide within ourselves an avenue to which they may happen. Let the feeling of well being circulate deep within you, removing all tension from your treasures to focus on the healing of life crisis, responding to your call. If any of you among you afflicted, let him pray. Pray to thy Father in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. What things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Each one is to ask for that which is in the unity of life, but let him ask with faith, not with any wavering. Physician, heal thyself. This day declare thy good. Go in peace and be whole. We do not have our basket being passed out. It's in the back. All donations are very much appreciated. But I will do the offertory blessing for those who have given. May God bless those who have given from their prosperity. May God bless those who have given from their love. May our chapel and congregation grow through this abundance. May this offering be used for the highest good of our chapel. According to your desire, our God, may we all be blessed tenfold. Amen. Amen. And your chapel does appreciate your donations even being sent to us if you can't make it here for our services. shift your eyes, take a deep breath, exhale, take another deep breath, and exhale, go within and listen to the drum beat. for calm, good 
help. And you know stress is not for the him worries. God will take control of worries and stress. Prayers were sent to each of you. We're sending good help. It's time to now to travel back to the chapel. And maybe peace come with you. As you enter the chapel. You can open your eyes up now. The sermon hymn is on page 135, Healed by the Power Divine, three times please.
God could heal relationships. God could even heal the nations that war between each other. Just think about that. What God can do. When I was younger, my family, and I have a big family, and I think you all know, I always said that me and my brothers are the only boys, and I have like 14, 15 girl cousins. But as you go through family, we all know how God can heal families from drug addiction, alcohol, even in sickness, I have seen that, that God can heal in prayer. Back when I was younger in the 70s, I played sports, and I had a bad injury that I did not realize how lucky I was. I got hit blindside and rushed to the hospital. My parents and everybody was, the coach and everybody was just worrying about me. They had to do surgery on my hip. They put four pins, and I was only 12 years old. Can you imagine that? 12, hip, 12 pins went into my hip to hold the pelvis. The doctor told my mother and my parents and everybody that he is lucky. One more inch, and he would have been crippled. Also, the doctor told my mother, we don't know how it's going to go. He's going to have to learn how to walk again. So that whole year, men 12 years old had to walk on crutches couldn't go to school, had to have in-school help from the teachers. Every night I heard my mother always pray to God and ask God to send him healing for me. And every day my mother would say, you know God's going to heal you. You'll walk again. And now she said, you got to believe. Within that year, I went to rehab. It was a struggle to try to walk and put pressure back on the leg and then with a limp. And all of a sudden, I remember what my mother and the prayers, I used to hear her cry the prayers. And all of a sudden, I went back and I started to walk. It was a limp. Then I went with one crutch. And finally, I got the crutch and I started walking again. When I got in my sophomore year, I actually got so good, the doctor said, unbelievable. We are going to take the plant pins out of his hip because he's still growing. And I was a big boy back then, I'm still big. But I actually took the pins out that summer and my sophomore and junior year and senior year, I actually played sport again, played football. <laughs> Just to tell you the prayer, what God can do. Also, my mother, when she's very young, and again, I'm living on a reservation with her mother, my grandmother, she smoked when she was 12 years old. That was the worst thing I hated to see her smoke. I used to cry. I used to take her cigarettes and pull them in a commode. Then would not want her to smoke. But as her health got worse, and she has to go to the hospital, and was hooked on oxygen 24-7 and we went back to take her to the hospital. My dad wasn't a very religious man. He had a Navy, in the Navy for a career in the Navy, but he was bold. And I watched that man get on his hands and knees and ask God to give her help for a few more years. Whatever you can do, God. And not only did my mother came home, she quit smoking. And she lived another 10 years through prayer. And I just show you how God can heal. And then talking to a few of y'all here, and I know some of y'all have told me and shared with me, with me your own personal stuff that happened. People who have been in car wrecks. And they said we'll never be able to walk. And they walk. People that had cancer. The doctors can explain and say, you maybe have six months and live 20 years and plus. So this tell me God can heal everything. Not only can he heal, he can put families back together. I have seen that. So going forward, I say, pray to God that he can heal and he will heal. And I have seen it. Thank you very much.
God bless and stay safe. Thank you, Reverend Tim. That was a very good message. Our soloist today is Reverend Loretta, and she will be singing, He Healeth Me, giving you love and light.
the place. Well, at least our vibrations raised. <laughs> oh, yeah. Reverend Loretta, you want to go first? Okay, I gotta get plugged in. Well, plug yourself in. <laughs> Only in this chapel, everybody. It's only here. God has a wonderful sense of humor. <laughs> All right. You know what? Of all the things that can happen to one in a week, when you just rise above this plane and enter into, I call it heaven with God and the angels, there's no greater blessing. So I hope we can do our best for you today. My first message is coming. It's coming to um, Nancy. Nancy, because you know the, the light just just flows over to you because you've been asking for so many things this past week. And as you've been asking for so many things, we see tears that have come down your eyes. We see that we want to shed tears of joy and happiness. We want to uplift you. We want to give you. You've been sending out healing to those who are in need. You've been doing so many things. And yet, you know, we look inside of your heart and we just want to say, we want to uplift it. We want to take away, we'll call it an, an empty feeling. Can't, we, we can't really describe it in words, but we're trying to fulfill that for you because we want you to know that we're with you every step of the way. Leaving you, we go to Mary, because when we reach out with Mary, we just want to send our love and greetings from here. Because you know, as you walk this pathway and the journey of life, you have realized just what life is all about. You have seen the helping hand. You've received it. And so you've been blessed. For this, you've made a vow that you would be a service to mankind in every way. Mm. You made the wish that anything that I could do will benefit others. And for this, we are with you, we're standing beside you, we're walking with you. And you know, we're trying to get through to you in your dreams. That's how we're trying to contact you because you're just too busy during the day. <laughs> Leaving you, we go to Elva. Because you know, Elva, when we reach out to you, we just want to say to you, we love you. Because you know, a gentleman stands beside you, he puts his arm around you, and he says, you know, I'm always walking beside you. I will always take care of you. I will always see you through the rough spots. We are trying to, I don't know, we're trying to be with you as, as you drive each day. We are with you, and you can feel our presence. You know that we're with you. We're trying to help you. We're trying to guide you. But we're also trying to give you peace so that you can relax, so that you can rest, so that tensions will flow from you instead of come to you. And that's the way we leave you. Leaving you now, we'd like to go to our new friend, Terry. Well, Terry, you're new to us, but God of the angels, nuh uh You're like an old standby because your faith in him and your love will never falter. You have reached out to so many people in your own special way. And yet, you know, there are days when sometimes your, your, your what do we call this, your shell, no, your body is sometimes tired, but you still keep on going. And as you keep on going, we want to give you the love. We want to give you the strength that each day is a new beginning. And as you reach out, you are going to keep growing spiritually. You see, there's, you've got a magnet in your heart that draws you to so many things. And what this is drawing to you is things that are for your good, things that will bring you joy and happiness as you walk the pathway of life. Leave you, we'd like to go to the gentleman beside you. What's your name, sir? Larry. Larry. Larry? Okay, Larry, because as we reach out, whoa. <laughs> but your name must be longer than Larry. Because okay, okay, because we just seem like 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 Larry, but we take the Y off, and so and we'll leave that by. But that's all we know. As we reach out with you, we just want to say to you, you know, you have done your best you could do, and you have tried in so many ways to uplift others. You have been, shall I say, a good counselor to others, and through your life, you have shown people the example of what not that they should do, that you've shown them a brighter light. 
You've always given them the positive thought. You've always shown them that they could keep on going no matter what. And so where were you? You were behind them. You were in pushing them. You were in front of them, pulling them. Because this is the way God built you. And now, right now, we send healing lights and rays to you, Larry, because we're with you. And we want to make sure that everything will work out just right. We go now. And as we go now, we don't know where we're going. We're going to go to Carol, wherever Carol is. But anyway, over here, you always, all of you are just bunched together. And so, and Carol, as we reach out, we want to say to you, we bring love and greetings. Oh, what you've been doing this past week has been something different. Oh, what you, have, what you had to look at, what you had to figure out. I don't know, but I see suitcases. And we, we, we don't see you doing, we see you moving the suitcases, but we can't say that you are, that, that you're involved with the suitcase. We'll leave it with you that way, because you know what? You've got so many over here that say, don't worry about it, everything's going to work out all right. And so we are here to help you, to give you the strength to see through it, because everything will work out for your good. And as you reach out, because what are you saying? You're saying, oh God. And they're saying, you know what? That's all she says. Because we know, God knows what the rest of your, what your request is, and they will fulfill it. And so we leave you. We leave you go and go to, oh God, and, because as we reach out with Anne, we just want to say to you, we send our love, we send our greetings, we want to say to you, we are happy for you. We rejoice with you. We want to let you know that as we reach out with you on your existence, you have been sending healing. You've been giving healing. And so what are we trying to do? We are trying to do and give the healing process to you so that you can find that there is joy and you can turn over the calendar, you can look at time, and you can feel at peace. You are happy, we want to keep you that way, but oh my, we are sending healing rays right through your body because we want to take away, what do I call it, the exhaust, exhaustion, tiredness, weariness, blah, whatever you want to call it. We're trying to take that away from you so that you can rejoice, so that you can be happy, so that you can find that all is well as we see you. You know, there's a gentleman here who I lost his name. Well, he says, forget about names, just tell her I'm here. And so he always had words of cheer to give to everybody. And so you are. You know, I don't know if anybody in your family was, was like, like, like a minister or, or, or spiritual, spiritual leader, but okay, because that's how we, we, we come here. Uh, because this is what we're doing, is we're bringing in the spirituality. And I say, we don't forget it because we are still praying. And we want you to continue to pray with us. And God bless you. And I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Announcements. I don't know. Do we have any announcements, Carol? <coughs> to a new place called Trinity Place and on Old 54. Uh, Reverend Sandy recommended it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. They have more care for her there. They have nurses and bed techs. And so she's looking forward to going there. Is it that new one? The Trinity Place on okay, Old 54. Okay. Brand new. Brand new. It's beautiful inside. And, and there's many nurses and med techs. She'll get much more care. And so I just wanted to share that. They have a big dining room, and he said that I can have our birthday parties there. Good. So when we have our parties, we can go there, and uh, you'll love it. When you walk in the lobby, they have a beautiful white baby grand player piano. Oh, Schultz already seen it. <laughs> and they want him to 
play there. He's going to do comedy and Good. and uh, Benny Hill and Sergeant Schultz. I know nothing. Uh, you know? Excuse me, I want to so, interrupt. Speaking of Schultz, is there anybody that could help dress that Schultz bell? And he has a little bit of a wound on his knee. So I'm going to need somebody to dress that. Okay. Anybody going to dress it, Susan? I don't know what I can do it with, but I probably can. Well, we have the kid up there, you know. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. I no, just that's it's okay. staring at but me. But when you talk about suitcases, that's what I've been doing is bringing suitcases, tubs, because they won't let me in to pack her up. They're going to do it all, so I won't have to do it. Good. Good. So, yeah, so that'll be this Monday or Tuesday. They'll be uh, taking her if everything all goes well. And, uh, just everyone keep safe. Oh, and don't forget to look in the back table because there's a lots of information there for free hot meals or if people need assistance with their electric bills or rent. There's a lot of literature and information on the back table. Else. <laughs> well, you know what? It is nice to see you people, especially with the COVID. And thank God that we are on YouTube, so those who can't make it in can tune us in on that. But we are blessed. And um, let's just pray that we're able to keep our little chapel going. You know, we do need some support. And I hate to ask for it, but I have no choice. So, you know. Put your little hands deep in your pockets, you know, short arms, long pockets. Let's try to dig in and send something to your chapel. It would be appreciated. I guess that's about all there is to say. I uh, brought some pictures in, they're in the back, of the good times we had in our chapel. When we had the shows and things like that. The pictures are in the back if you want to look at them. And I'm really looking forward to doing that again. So as soon as this COVID is over, I think we should start getting some committees and get together and, you know, do a lot of things. We had lots of fun and we should go back to having lots of fun because we are a chapel family. And we'll go back to having our little luncheons and everything else. So let's put that in our minds when we say our prayers that our chapel will grow for the grace of God, and that we will be able to enjoy and love each other a little bit more. Okay, I thank you. And there'll be nothing else, so please let's stand for the benediction and our closing hymn. Mary, you have nothing to say, right? No. Well, we still have uh, St. Vincent for Paul on our Lady Queen of Peace. We have the food pantry on Thursdays, and it's from 12 to on our Friday from 10 to 12. Okay, so if anybody needs food, you just drive by. You just, <laughs> just drive, drive by. Drive by where the rectory is on Shaw Street, and they'll bring the box of food. I mean, that's a big box of food. They give you milk and vegetables and meat. I mean, that's. So any of you that need food, that you need know a little extra to make food. ends meet, by all means. Okay. Benediction. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. May God bless us all till we meet again. Amen. Amen.